punches. Will they be able to do it this afternoon? And it is Blues who get us underway. As I'll be looking, no doubt, to get off to a fast start. Roberts will get this cross in. It's not a bad delivery and attack, and it was Jukovic who's headed that just beyond Simon Sluga's goal. But you get Jukovic in that position to head at goal. He will be very, very close or even hit the ball in the back of the net. But it was a really good delivery. And it was just a shame Jukovic's going to get that one on target. As they look to just try and make sure nothing comes off this. In it goes by Bella. Really good delivery, and it's put into the back of the net. It's Mark Roberts who heads it in on his 120th appearance for Blues. He's managed to give them the lead at Kenilworth Road. It was a sensational ball in by Bella. Roberts meets it and heads it home, and it is a dream start at Kenilworth Road for Lee Bowyer's men, courtesy of Mark Roberts' head. Yeah, I've just got to say, this is how Blues should start every game on the front foot, even against the better sides, Bournemouth, like, uh, the way they've attacked this game has been brilliant, and there's only one thing that could have happened, a nearly Blues goal. Really bringing a lot of players forward for this, it is just about away by Chong now, I don't think anybody in the box actually got any sort of contact on that delivery, but Luton will come again as Amari Bell will strike one from range, Sarkic saw it late and didn't get a hold of it, and incidences in the box, but it's gone short from the throw as Collin delivers it in, it's away by Mari Bell has come to Chong in the box, he gets the cross in, attacking it is Hogan, and it's 2-0 to Blues. Scott Hogan ends his personal drought, and it's a second header, and it's a second goal at Kenilworth Road. It's another cross, and it's another header. Luton nil, Blues 2. Unbelievable, the, the, the game plan just keeps better and better. Uh, you know, with the amount of crosses, the amount of chances that are being created, just leaving... Chong up there and Bella and, and the attacking threat that they've got and um, Hogan will be in his element if we can produce these kind of performances again and um, we're going to definitely see the best of, of Hogan this is good play by the Newton Town number seven there's Alan Campbell he can't get away from Hogan who just uses his body superbly to not even foul him and this is a real good adventurous run by Chong and he's taken out in the end by Glenn Ray and that's going to be the first yellow card of the game but to Heath Chong, they're absolutely superb, just had to carry on running forward, he had nobody around him in a blue shirt and has won a free kick there. Ray will give it to Harry Cornet. and Luton now will have it with Campbell, he's got three options, one on either side and one through the middle, he's gone to the right and tries to pick out Penny Ruddock and Pans, it's a vital sliding challenge by Ivan Sunjic and there's two players around Penny Ruddock and Pans here and that is absolutely superb by Ivan Sunjic's job when he comes in, really does almost fit the bill of a sort of 7 out of 10 every week, maybe even more does Colan. that's really clever play by Jukovic, Bella's got time to look up and play it short towards Tahit Chong who shoots and Sluga saves and it's cleared away by Naismith but it was a ball that was difficult for Sluga to deal with, he just about stopped it going in but Tahit Chong with his first big opportunity of the game and nearly making it 3-0 Blues. He's some kind of balance to this it comes to nothing, and oh, Heath Chong is going on his own, and this is a sensational run by the Dutchman, he's one on one with Simon Sluga, going in with the challenges, one of the Luton players, but Scott Hogan has stuck it into the back of the net, and it's 3-0 to Blues, well he's bagged himself another goal, it was a great advantage play by John Busby, Scott Hogan put the ball in the back of the net, to Heath Chong may have been clattered, but alongside him was Blues number nine to roll in one of the easiest finishes of his career. And Blues have just made it even better at Kenilworth Road this afternoon. What have I just seen there? I mean, um, how often do you see a player run the length of the pitch? Um, I mean, he didn't score it, but like, what an assist. It's fantastic, fantastic pace, awareness, bravery, because to even attempt that in the first place, like you got two defenders in front of him, you, you maybe look for some support, but like that's the the um, promise of youth. He's just he just he's just gone for it and, and created this second goal for Hogan. The Hawthorns and Blues will be hoping that they don't give any ammunition or any license for them to come back into it. It's a lovely flicker to Jukovic. Tends Naismith tumbling. The attack is still alive here with Sunjic. Here's now Jeremy Bella. As he now has the ball. Ryan Woods is the option if he looks up. Bella does find Wood, who back heels it to Sunjic, surely a chance to shoot, Sunjic does. But it's off target, it was lovely, slick passing by Blues, it fell to the Croatian Sunjic. Porters who pretty much sell out every single place they go and visit in the championship, that is an unbelievable support. 1,032, there's around about 2,000 
also heading to Oakwell in a week's time for their match at Barnsley. Here is now Jutkovic, they're hungry for more. Cross goes in, disappointingly it's cannoned off Naismith, back to Jutkovic again. Here's Chong, full of confidence, strikes it low. Changed direction as it headed closer towards Sluga, but it wasn't caught at the Croatian and dealt with the save pretty comfortably in the end, but... There's not a lot that gets past them. Went for goal, it was blocked by Bray. Comes to his feet though, does... Zedemi Bell and his ball has gone off a loot and head all the way to Sanchez, he's going to come inside, Sanchez shoots! It looked like it was going to beat Sluga, but in the way of the shot was Cal Naismith, and that's quite a vital block because Sanchez looked like he had the meaning of the goalkeeper there. Possibly can see. Well, they were showing a rather glum-looking Luton Town bench with the coaching staff on there. And wearing the glasses, as you saw in your picture just there, was Paul Hart, a man who actually played one game for Blues before he had to uh, leave the club because of a broken leg. He's got it towards Anika here from Bella's Cross, and he's headed it narrowly beyond the post. That was a good position for Anike. He made the run onto it. Just a shame, really, the contact on it wasn't really good enough. He would have been praying for that to go in. You know, 3 0 up, he'd be desperate to get his name on the score sheet there. This might just feel like now for the final six plus minutes, but like a training exercise. Um, and psychologically for Luton, it's just that's going to kill him. You know, you could see the reaction of the one. Um, Luton centre forward, he's dived in to try and win that ball back because it was embarrassing. Gardner, who shoots and makes it four. That is a fantastic finish by the substitute. It really does get better and better for Blues. Conan did so well to win it back. He's laid it off to Gardner, who's curled it in. And the moment it left his foot, it was in the back of the net. Sluger, hapless to keep it out. And Gary Gardner, the sub, has made it 4-0. And what an away day to remember this is for Lee Bowers' men. And, and, I mean, that passing move just before, as like it looked like a bit of time wasting but I was just mentioning demoralising for the Luton players they don't close down as much look at how far off they are Gardner strolls into the box unchallenged and it's a great finish Finis well I'll fix it towards Sanchez now to Gardner here's Woods it's a lovely ball in he goes all the way through to Anike but here's Bella though it's gone towards oh. Anike who slides in <laughs> and has eventually put it away and he finally gets off the mark as a Blues player he had two good chances already in the second half. And at the third bite of the cherry, Chucks and EK is finally a blue scorer. And it's a five-star performance at Kenilworth Road from Lee Bowyer's side. And it's another goal scorer to add to it as well. What a performance this has turned out to be. Yeah, and look, it's great to see he's made the back up with Gordon after denying him that, that cross. But look, it, he's desperate for it. He's lunging at the first one. And he's kept going away, he's flicking his, his feet away and he's managed to get that vital touch to send it into the back of the net. Well, it was a scrappy goal, but he won't care how it happens. He... Luton's going for Australia, but that's not a bad scoreline to see. For those Blues fans on the way home, seeing that their side is five goals up at Luton Town. The whistle goes. Well, that is a performance that could not get any better. Man who got the last act with the fifth goal as he opened his account for Birmingham. The man who got it up and running was Mark Roberts scoring in the seventh minute with his head via a Jeremy Bella corner. Then they were tuning up with Scott Hogan scoring again with a header as he scored from the Tahi Chong cross. The second half, they managed to go 3 0 up. Chong with a long busting run despite Pelly Rodak and Pantu's superb challenge. It went straight to Hogan, who was able to put the ball into the net and make it 3 0. Then Gary Gardner made it 4 in the 85th minute with a wonderful finish beyond Simon Sluga. And then Chuck Sanike rounded it up and made it, and made it 5 0 to Blues. But Delia Adebola, final thoughts from you. What a performance this afternoon by. Blues. I mean, there's just too many things to even think about. Just what made that performance so spectacular, wasn't it? Yeah, the, uh, and I mean, to, to, to sum it up, there's one player and just focused on him just there, Chong, who seems to have come in and made a massive difference as well. So tactically, back in the last season, um, we did really, really well, showed some potential, but he just brings a different element to, to the way Blues play.